Hello! Happy Tuesday! How are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming and being by us. You are so welcome here. Please consider just subscribing, hitting that subscribe button so I can more easily connect with your energy. That's helpful. We're going to do a Taurus read right now. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus read is right now. Taurus. I'm already getting some messages. Taurus, what's going on? What's the buzz going? What's happening? One more time? Sure. There you go. Mind, body, spirit. Taurus, come through. Help us understand what's going on. Okay, Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, <laughs> Knight of Swords. If only you knew, knew how I do love you. Was it Patty LaBelle? Someone has you on their mind, Taurus. Someone, it's such a sweet uh, lullaby love song. Yeah, you mean the world to them. We have the fixed signs here. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Beautiful. This is the portal of the twin, twin flame that has been opening in the last, was it, two and a half weeks now. No longer the shoulda, woulda, couldas. Um, remember, this is not just uh, stinking thinking. Th these are roadblocks that we can put in the way of our progress with this connection. Ace of Swords helps us find the path. Two of Wands, my intention is to give you the world. All that I'm doing is, is for us. Seven of Swords in reverse. Uh, someone's acting in a little bit of an immature way just to see, are you paying attention? Are you still available? Do you find me intriguing? Eight of Cups. Um, this is so, this is someone who has tried many different avenues in order to find their happiness and only because they have stumbled upon your vibe, your soul vibe, and have actually made contact with this connection that they are feeling an elevation of this energy. Uh, we're going to need some... Clarification at the bottom of this deck we have now in the upright page of cups. This is someone who has, I have a proposal. I'm not saying it's a marriage proposal, but they have an idea. They have a plan. I have a plan, Stan. How easily it could have been that the two of you, like many lifetimes in the past, just gone past each other like two ships in the night. Do you see the two ships here? They might not even know they're on the same sea. It's not been easy. But nothing worth having is easy. The, the most dreadful roads that we have to go down might lead to beautiful destinations. Let's have some clarification for dear tours, please. We need your help. We need your help. We need your help. Oh, God bless us. Bless us, keep us. Well, we're talking about the Knight of Cups. We know who that is. Someone has, they're carrying a torch. They're carrying a loving cup. They're being very careful. They don't want to spill a drop. They really don't. They're going very cautiously toward um, where they, they're being, uh, it's like either gravitating towards this location. Yeah, they really see you guys as a power couple. I want to show you off. I want to do it in the right way. I, I don't want my past 
to ever come and uh, what are you saying? They're afraid that somehow their past is going to be thrown in your face. They don't, they shouldn't worry because Taurus, you can handle all of that and more. Yeah, they, they, you are their two of cups and you are their two of cups. You are always on their mind. They keep you next to your heart, to their heart. Um, you're all around them, always. If this is a bit about miserly, it's they don't want to share you. There is a bit of jealousy streak that goes through here. I believe it's on their side. Um, I feel like someone might be a little Irish. Irish, a little... Um, I'm just getting that little... in the back of my head. Mm -hmm. But there's definitely some a type of jealousy. Um, they best not be. Um, no one best be looking at my my boo. So two of pentacles dealing with 3D and 5D, doing their best to balance what they know to be and what they hope to be. Absolutely, the King of Swords. Now, what they know to be and what they hope to be have to have a linear line of logic. So we're putting all of that 5D into reality. Yeah, and that's gonna that's gonna be very helpful because when you feel like all you the most of what you have is in 5D, you can't put your finger on it. It's not tactile, and you can't have a discussion with this connection with anyone else. They're not going to be able to understand you. The the Page of Pentacles wanting to give something just to make sure you're still available. It is a theme that goes with them. They feel they. It's almost like a ten of uh, ten of swords in reverse. They feel like they owe you an, uh, an apology. They're so sorry that they're not there right now. They see you as the Empress. Um, all things good and wonderful and glorious. Wow, they have such a deep regard for you, Taurus. And they have worked and worked and worked so that they can come to you correctly. They have a lot to tell you. They don't know how to tell you. This is part of the work I was talking about, that Virgo energy of the hermit, going deep inside and finding out things about themselves they didn't even know about. Um, some things that are still coming up, like, why am I jealous? Um, I haven't made um, an overture and I don't have a commitment from them. But truly, if they saw you, um, had given up and that you were with someone else, this would be very, um, very, a terrible day for them. Here we are with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Right, so that's the feeling of, oh man, if only things had, this should have, would have, could have business right here. Mm -hmm. They're really wondering um, how it is that you are holding on um, they really feel like they owe you a great big apology because things have not um, gelled yet to where they can come forward and, and begin this um, next chapter of the, their life with you and your chapter as well. This is your book as well. So it, there's a lot of... Um, uh, these worries are like um, bees flying around the head. They... They aren't stinging, but they are worrisome. Don't worry though. The wheel of fortune is turning. Why is that upside down though? I haven't seen that in a while. The wheel of fortune is turning, but we have to wait. It's turning in your favor, but we have to wait. This is more of a waiting game. I'm so sorry about that. Something very fortunate is in the works. It's not here right now. It's in the works. How funny. Okay, then we have the world with the fixed signs, of course, Aquarius, the star, the hopes and wishes and dreams that you've built off of each other. The tower events that have occurred that have allowed you both to see things within yourself that need to be tweaked or removed, little petty jealousies that aren't useful to anyone, um, those things in your past that have been nasty surprises, 
either um, instances with friends or family, when you have been let down, someone let you down and, and these, it should never have happened because you should be able to trust the people that are around you. And somehow in this connection, someone was very much, um, unhappily surprised by the reaction of their friends and family. They should have had a bit more support. Hmm, I wonder about that. So we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. The beautiful Queen of Cups is here, though. She's here in order to regulate some of those. Do you remember talking about those bees flying around the head, those extra emotions? She's here, kind of like a beekeeper, to keep everything cool and calm. Um, it, we need those emotions, but we need them to be intact and making sense. Along with the, the King of Swords, it has to make lo be logical. Uh, Four of Swords in reverse. There was a time where uh, people, both people in this connection, really needed to recharge their batteries. And it's very appropriate then just to withdraw a little bit um, from, you know, what did they say? Unplug from things, go within, recharge those batteries so that you can um, present yourself in your best, in the best way possible. And here we have, I love this, the Six of, of Pentacles now in the upright. Things are going to be given fairly with attention and affection. How long has the Six of Pentacles been in reverse? Many, many weeks. We have the Ace of Swords. This is the truthiness. Uh, when we're looking for that great path on which to follow, you know, when the King of Wands stands up and says, I have a direction, I want everyone to follow that direction. The Ace of Swords helps to cut away some of those extra vines and weeds and um, allows the path to be visualized. So we very, very much need that right now. And speaking of King of Swords, there they are. Meaning um, it is time now to consider getting up, standing up, and making that move forward. And especially now that we have the Ace of Swords as a way to help find that great route. No longer in the defensive posture. I'm not going to defend or have to defend this connection. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Um, I just don't need people around me who are trying to, uh, I don't know that term, take the piss. Take the piss. Uh, sorry, it sounds kind of crude. Um, deflate the, the good um, vibes from this. Um, the, the good... The, Take away the good energy of this connection just because they're a little jealous, maybe. And then on the other side, we have the Queen of Wands. I love it. King of Wands, non-defensive to the Queen of Wands, who is very direct, knows what she wants, and she's also the Grand Manifester. Lovely. We have someone who has been waiting. They're practicing. They're practicing giving you the world. They really, they, uh, all the work that they have put into... Um, not just, I'll say, bettering themselves, but finding more about themselves. They want to present to you someone who is, what do you say, total in, in totality. Not someone who is missing something here, missing something there. And then the Queen of Swords. She's, you know, um, you're going to come clean. Everything is going to be truthful. I don't want half truths. I want the full truth. And we can deal with it once we know the whole truth. And all of this is, is because temperance has made us both strong enough to be able to handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Oh, yes. Yes, we can handle the truth. We've been through quite a bit here. Uh, back to the Summon of Swords. So this is kind of cheeky person looking around, making sure that no one else is flirting with Taurus. But also, on the back of their mind, they're thinking, I owe an apology for the... Um, the time that I've spent not coming forward. I, there were three times that I had a route toward Taurus. I kicked them over because I just wasn't prepared. I wasn't ready yet. But I kept the best for last. The Two of Cups. Yeah, the Sun. Leo energy. This is a, the happiest card in a tarot deck. It's been a difficult, difficult time. But this connection is worth every every bit of, of pain and tears 
We've got the Ten of Cups. I say the Ten of Hearts. Just love everywhere. Very sustainable. Um, it's the increase of love that we're able to give because now we know more about ourselves and that we have a partner who is giving us unconditional love. We don't have to um, compensate for anything that we feel is less than. We have the Eight of Cups thinking that you have to walk away to find something else. It's not true. Everything that you need is available to you. It's just a matter of finding that one more cup. Where is he? Right here. The, the Knight of Cups to the Eight of Cups will bring you the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. No longer up in your head with worries. Yeah, sometimes um, just not knowing more of the story, we fill in the blanks with things that give us worries and concerns. Yeah, let it go. Let it go. Good things are happening. Look at this sun card right in the middle. And the king of, of cups. He is the Romeo of the tarot deck. Making his position known right here. And here's his queen. This is a love connection for the ages. Framing this whole reading is the page of cups. Where there is like, a, like an unknown known. I have something to offer. I'm going to offer you something, whether it be a proposal or, um, you know, let's, I have an idea of how we could um, go forth with this connection. I just want to make sure that you are um, still available and that you're still willing to be my two of cups because I'm so proud of you. You're my empress. The only thing that really got me was the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse. It's not that the Wheel of Fortune is <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> now unlucky. It is a matter of timing. Timing. I'm going to take a break, I'll do a couple of love connections, and I'm going to come back for part two of this and see if we can find out more information for you. Okay, Taurus? All right. See you soon. Okay, bye-bye.